In this video, we will look at uh, how to configure an existing Azure Artifact feed to connect to various upstreams such as uh, NuGet or NPM or uh, any other uh, global packages that are available so that you, your Azure Artifact feed can act as a mirror of, of the common and public uh, package servers. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Chaitanya and you can call me Chai. I have more than a decade and a half of experience with software development as a developer, tech lead, architect and various other roles around designing and delivering software products. So let's, let's start by uh, going back to the uh, Azure Artifact field that we created in the previous video and then go ahead and configure and understand upstream management. So uh, going back to uh, the academy field, which I created in, in the previous video. I will go back to the settings page wherein uh, uh, the upstream sources uh, can be configured. So as you can see here, there's not too much uh, updated. So I can go ahead and say add upstream. And here I can choose between the common public source, which is uh, like NPM and NuGet, or I can connect to an existing Azure Artifact feed and add them as a upstream into this particular feed. So let me select public uh, source. And here you could list, uh, you could see the list of common, um, uh, package management servers and global available. So example, NPM is for your front end, like React front and Angular applications and the packages. NuGet is mainly for the .NET based uh, package library. Similarly, a Maven for Java and various other uh, package servers. So I can basically you can go ahead and select the package uh, feed that you want and just say add. Similarly, you can go ahead and add uh, uh, let's say I'll go ahead and add the NPM servers, NPM uh, registry. And what it means is if once your developers, uh, all developers have to do is connect to this particular feed, the academy feed, and then uh, they could search for packages in NuGet, packages in NPMJS without having to, uh, having access or having need to connect to the the, the location of this new get. So what, what your academy feed does is it, it entirely connects to these upstream sources and does the search and gets the packages. And then you will you'll basically be uh, using the, the upstream sources, but via the, the shadow of uh, academy feed. So it provides a lot more control, a lot more uh, ability for you to uh, search uh, and manage packages as a single field rather than having to connect to various um, uh, fields and various uh, global services and everything. So, so this is the simplest way to go ahead and uh, uh, configure upstreams and then go ahead and configure them in your applications, in your IDEs uh, to connect to your field so that you could use it. So we'll cover more details about how to connect to this particular field and use the NuGet server. Uh, services uh, in, in an upcoming video and I hope you have learned uh, how to uh, configure upstreams and manage them in, in this particular video. Thank you.